Rob, always a pleasure to see you. And every time I see you, every time I see Karen Engineering and what you do, immediately in my head I go, you know I'm bad. I'm bad, you know it, because your technology is so fun, so educational, and so helpful to everyone who's watching. So let's go through the list as a quick summary, starting with TMAC, okay. and then we'll go through each one about how they benefit a customer who's just now learning. All right. So TMAC, what are we doing? Well, TMAC is a product that basically looks at the tools by monitoring the power, vibration, or strain of the, the system as it's cutting, and it can tell whether the tools are worn or broken automatically. It, the, T, the actual name, acronym TMAC, stands for Tool Monitoring Adaptive Control. So not only does it monitor the tools, but it also can do adaptive control where it can automatically override the feed rate to maintain a, to maintain a constant power cut. So this allows you to optimize things like castings and forgings and just always have the tool cutting at its best feed through the material to do the best cutting and give you the best tool life on it. Yeah, I was going to make sure we iterated that part as well. The best tool life, the best finish, the best cycle times even. Absolutely. Uh, even the machine spindle life as well. If right. it's creating that vibration, That's right. all of that goes into a really awesome technology. Now let's move into Detect. What is Detect doing for our part? Uh, Detect it is kind of like a toolbox to just monitor various things on the machine. Uh, one of its original applications was to monitor the vibration of a bar feeder. And if the bar is vibrating too much, it's going to cause bad parts. It's also going to cause potential damage to the spindle. Detect it will automatically detect that vibration level and tell the machine to reduce the RPM to try to eliminate it. It has other functions like bearing analysis. Uh, we use some of the products from Bloom, like their roughness gauge, their scanning probe. They can also be inputs to detect it. So it's kind of an analysis toolbox that allows you to do a lot of different things to help some of the pro cure some of the problems that are in your manufacturing process. And ultimately, I've heard you say this to me a couple of times, ultimately, all of these products as we're going through, we'll do auto comp in just a minute, is to really remove some of that, that user mistakes that Absolutely. we have. And as perfectly some as you some of you out there might be, I'm certainly not, and I could use technology like this. I, and that's what your goal when creating care yes, as a absolutely. whole. Absolutely. Right? try to eliminate operator error. Yeah. Um, as people start moving to unattended operation, more people are trying to put robots on machines. There's all kinds of things that operators are compensating for that need to be done automatically now. So both operator error proofing and also helping with automation as well. Exactly. So let's move into AutoComp. We have a set of calipers right here. Yeah. What are we doing with AutoComp? So AutoComp is a uh, software that will automatically compensate tools based on the dimensional wear on the part. The devices that we can use are simple like a caliper, uh, complex like a CMM, and any other measuring device somewhere in between there. So what AutoComp does is it takes the dimensional data read from the device and automatically figures out how much the tool has worn based on the deviation and then automatically compensates the CNC control so that no human is involved in that. It's just doing it automatically and doing it uh, accurately every time. You know, Rob, so far you've sold me on three products because now you've told me even if I program incorrectly, it's going to fix that. That's if right. I have some wear and tear in my machine. There's yep. all sorts of analysis for that. And your auto comping in case I, I am starting to wear down my tools or I'm making some cutting errors. Sure. It's automatically going to fix that. So I've already purchased three items. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> now, Tool Connect, what are we doing here? So, Tool Connect is solving the problem of tool go tools going into the machine. So basically, every tool has an RFID tag in it. These tools are preset on a tool preset or somewhere else in a tool crib, and the dimensional information of that tool is automatically written on the RFID tag. From there, that tool is brought over to the machine where we have a station to read that tag, automatically uh, read all the data out of the tag, and then automatically send it into the CNC control. It also can bring the tool magazine around so the place that the operator is supposed to put the tool into is presented to them automatically without any error you know, involved in the system. Then the data is automatically sent to the machine. So it, it really error proofs the process of putting tools into the machine. You can also take tools out of the machine and write information back into them so that tool could be used on another machine. I think auto, auto, automatically, as I can't say it, 
would be the word of the day That's when it the comes word of the day. to Tool Connect. Hey. Now, we've been into Wolfram Manufacturing together. I've been into your facility. There's actually two options for this right. Tool Connect. Exactly, right? Can you yes. go into that a little bit? Yeah, so the RFID is a really robust method, slightly more costly, but there is also another method, which is a QR code. Um, so the d dimensional data, the length and diameter, maybe the tool number can be printed on a barcode, a QR code. We can use a barcode reader instead of the RFID system and still perform a lot of the same operations. Yeah, that's exactly right. So now we'll move into smart light. It's actually one of the topics I haven't discussed quite as much with you, but it is right. a fun technology yes. as well. So let's talk about smart light. Yeah, so this light has 20 separate segments of light. Each of those segments can be up to uh, any one of seven different colors, and it can all be commanded from the CNC machine. So you can create your own light scenarios in your plant. Maybe a white light running over a blue light means blow the part off. So each customer creates their own scenarios, and those light scenarios are common across all their machines. So it's a very simple thing, but it's, it's very visual to people to know what am, I, what am I supposed to do right now when the machine's sitting in this state. Yeah, that all makes sense. Now, we're very busy people. I know that you love being on camera and you want to be here with me all day, every day. Absolutely, you Tony, you know it. You love the MTD channel, but you also love working with the partners and yes. think with Akuma. Yep. So what does that partnership mean with you as we're standing? You can obviously hear the volume of all the people sure. that are here today. It's a busy what place. What does that partnership mean to you? Oh, it's been fantastic. Um, you know, we, we get to meet all the Akuma distributors around the country. Um, even around the world, there are people here from Brazil today. Um, and it, it really gives us an opportunity to show our technology, but also create a good, solid working relationship with each of these distributors. And they bring the customers to us. They're very good about making sure their customers understand the technology we're providing. So it's been a, a great, we've been a partner in Think since 2007. We were on the first companies in, and it's just been a phenomenal um, basically relationship for our company to help us sell our products to the customer base out in the Kuma world. Yeah, and the last time I was here, if we can get our camera guy actually to zoom in here a little bit, you were actually speaking the last time I was here. So for people watching right now, if they want to join you at some point, there's lots of speaking engagements. Obviously, they can come to your facility as well, which is sure. up in Maine, have a delicious lobster roll. Absolutely. And get to meet the Karen family. Yep. Um, but I know that the relationship here with Akuma is important, and you're a big part of that relationship, and you're always bringing the technology to the forefront. Yeah, and uh, I participate in the Think Developers Group, which is... Uh, a, a group of people that are developing applications for CNC machines. So everybody's welcome to join that as well that wants to be involved in that. But uh, it, it's really been a great relationship with Akuma and we're really happy to be here. Yeah, well, Rob, I'm happy you're here on camera with me as well. I will see you soon in so, May and thank you as always for joining yes. me on camera. Absolutely, sounds good. Thank you.